What's yeah. happening in one week's time, gents? What's happening in one week? Well, one week, well, one about week eight days. When this eight comes days. out, eight, or one... no, no, eight days from no. now. Not today, okay. the podcast. Or maybe three or four days from when you're listening to this. What is? What is? What is the occasion? I don't know, Trip. What is happening in eight days' time? Well. It's three years of push the point. Whoa. Oh my god! Uh, what? Yeah, but three years means we've actually done like seventy odd. Ep- oh wait, three years oh, of Simon's this podcast. Re- Simon's tweaked. So we are on what? seventy <laughs> something. We are on seventy something. Yeah, we missed a yeah we are. Not many. Not many. Not many. How? Uh, yeah, we were just saying it's crazy to think. Three that years. is crazy. Two thousand. Three how years. Two hundred and thirty. Two thousand two hundred and thirty-eight subs. Back when we were giving stuff away for 169 subs and 169 now. subs. Look at us now. Hamish is favourite. Well, I have to say that um, we're definitely uh, definitely it's definitely exceeded our expectations. Um, yeah. Hamish, how do we compare to your favourite Flash and Blood podcast? Oh, um, what Arsenal Pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the 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 the, the, they the voted after us. No, yeah, the, they, they did start three after years us. Before us. Yeah. No, I don't. Wait, was That's that even, their three year anniversary that, the other day? Yeah. But how did they manage that? Well, they, oh wait, they started before us. Sorry, I thought they started after us. I thought, I thought the they started thing. after us. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. If, I don't know if we want to bore everyone with some. You know, let's talk about our past. Although, actually, if you want to hear about our past, then you. Join as a patron, and we'll just tell you about it. In yeah, we'll tell you freely. <laughs> yeah, the five-hour a director's edition of episode whatever number this is. <laughs> although, official point. although I have to say that as much as I say I don't want to bore everyone, so it sounds like I'm slagging off the whole episode about how they're just talking about how they met. I actually did find it quite interesting. <laughs> it was like, it is interesting. I love a bit of history. Who doesn't love a bit of history? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. We'll we'll dab, we'll dabble into it. We'll dabble into it. But first and foremost, because we have been chatting a little bit before we got onto this podcast, we thirsty boys. We thirsty. Take it away, Simon. Hamish. What are you drinking today? Oh, Simon. Um. So. Oh, Simon. Oh, Simon. Oh, Simon. Oh, Simon. Oh. Simon. Oh, Simon. oh. I've uh, got a very uninteresting San Miguel. Oh, <laughs> but it's cold, very cold. Nice. Um, so that, that just takes me back to uni. Spanish holidays. Yeah, Barcelona. Um, <laughs> Barcelona. No, Barcelona would be uh, Australia, wouldn't it? Australia. Anyway. Uh, okay. Well, there you go. That's my beer. It's five percent, and I don't care. What about you, Simon? It's... Mine's also very uninteresting because I haven't been to the shop for beer anytime recently because it's. Still oh, in the garage. I've you... gone Brewdog Punk IPA. Oh, oh, is it a hand in the garage? Play another, play another record. Simon. I know. Jeez, come on, we've heard it before. You know what? It's really bad of me, but I need some. I need some different beers in, and I just, I've still got to work. I find I've got to work through what I've got already. Where did you get it from, Simon? This was from Christmas. No, but where? Like, did you reach? No, I'm trying to set up. Have you got a fridge? I went to the garage. Yeah, and. I went into the garage. Was the lights off? Uh, Did you just reach in? Not today, no. Oh, oh. Ble- bless you, Faye. Right, trip. <laughs> not sure where you're going with that one. But, oh, uh, it was, it's, it's, it's a two episode. Do you, want to, do, you, do you want to tell us what you imagined the joke was going to be? Well, three episodes. Is it because last time I went. No, it wasn't like, last time. It was like two or three episodes. Oh. You were, I just reached in and Faye sneezed. And yeah, and I was like, it made it sound oh. like you reached into Faye's cup and pulled out a punk IPA. <laughs> <laughs> that was one for the one for the super fans. <laughs> well, it was, it was only two episodes ago. I don't know if you realised. Oh, I don't know if you realised. I actually, if you actually oh. seen it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh. Oh, um, what about what about what about you, the man? It's been three years. I would love to actually. I'm, Look, I'm, it's taken me what, three years to grow this. I tell you what, I'm so impressed. Trip. I give. I tell you that I'm really impressed with your touch, mate. Listen, listen. Don't interrupt the host. I'm just... <laughs> No, no, I'm the guest. I'm the guest. Like, it's, it's, can I just say, can I say, thank you so much for inviting me back on. That's okay. Um, every episode for the last three years oh. as the as the pre, as the chief guest on the podcast. Really kind of you to just keep is, bringing me back. Trip, it's been three um, years. I think for the super fans trip because I don't think anyone anyone else would have actually clocked that. Yeah. I thought that it literally be up for us. <laughs> so I'm um, gonna I'm gonna what do. What are you drinking, Trip? No, I'm gonna do a giveaway. 
Oh. <laughs> Please let me drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I drink. drink. Oh, this is I a drink. classic push the point moment. So I just, oh, so... I want to do. Uh, I'm drinking a London Pride. Hey, hey. I uh, I literally went down to the corner shop and bought it uh, on my way here. Uh, on Here's. my way while we were waiting. So, uh, <laughs> Here's everybody. Okay. Um. So I've got a little giveaway, right? And it's gonna be quite hard because I've got to remember it. But the person in the in the YouTube comments specifically, so if you listen on Spotify, jump on our YouTube comments. Name, if you can name, at least, I'll probably say the first person to comment five of Trips nicknames throughout our three year podcast oh. history, because he's had many. That's a great question. Oh, that is. That is, yeah. Name at least five of Trips. Um, nicknames that we've given him throughout Oof. the podcast history. I'll reach into my cupboard, bless you, Faye, I think, and should we say I will. Three? Should we say no? Three? No, it's quite hard. No, it's not think... hard. I know. Okay, I, okay. I, I, I just cracked five. Yeah, you them. do. You you came up with them all. You came up with them all. <laughs> Those five. Those easily five. That is. There definitely is. I'm just saying. It's quite. It's quite I, tricky. Yeah, no. It's, what it's what are you going to give away? You got I don't know. I'll, I'll find some. I'll find some garbage. Uh, it, it's not. It's nothing. Spe- that nothing amber crazy. Amber ale. Look at, that. look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, that's a that's traditional a London beer. beer. Okay, there you go. Yeah. First person in the YouTube comments to come up with it, and they've generally got to be what I've said. And uh, I'll get. I'll... Well, chosen it. Chosen it random, not the first person, because um... chosen at random. Fine. Yeah. Well, whatever. But um, in the patrons, just no off. one. No one will. But if you do, I'll find some. I'll find some little coal foil thing, and uh, I'll. Pop it in the post. A little cold boil thing. Yeah. That's I've got good, two good things well, I want to say, Hamish. Oh. Okay. Completely unrelated to all of that. That is more than what, for two words, but go ahead. No, I didn't say two words. I said two things. Um, I'm just looking at Tripp's moustache, and I'm I'm very impressed with Tripp's dedication to growing very the moustache. Um, <laughs> I'm wondering a little bit where Hamish's is, uh, letting a side down. I but can't, but I can't. I, Oh, I got what? some new wax this week. So any of our listeners who are is this your home interested news? in in home musta- news? We- okay, home news. It's not, but this is just a, a mini adver- advertisement advertisement um, for Death Grip wax. So I I bought some of this other off oh, Amazon. It's made in Colorado in the states. It's called Death Grip uh, wax, and it is. This was done this morning and it is still holding like an absolute good one. Yours is uh, very spiky, I've got to say. It yeah. is very spiky today. I'm very impressed with this mm. wax. Uh, but yeah, so Death Grip Wax, go and have a look. But I'm pretty impressed. Trip, you should, you should check it out. I'll Any of our mustachioed listeners should... Um... He doesn't like a Death Grip, you know? Like, that's what I'm all about. Yeah. So, um, um, yeah, so there you go. Okay. Uh, in, in, do you want to go to Home News or can I say I've the already, other thing? I've already, I've already, already clapped in. The other, say the other thing, so. No, so see, I was going to talk about this for two thousand subs, but that's been and gone well, well quickly. Uh, for our three-year birthday, mm. I want to know from our listeners and patrons whether there is interest in a little buy a pack, ah. open on stream, Crucible of War first edition. Um, so if people are interested, in that put it in the comments, and I will come up with a pricing structure for some packs. There may be some Patreon giveaways if you're interested in joining our Patreon before then but, simon so has thinking about doing it. some so i know yeah keep i was on you to get it done. yeah absolutely <laughs> i i will be doing if there is enough interest i will be doing some selling and opening of crucible of war first edition packs cool that sounds great um, i think that's a that's a that's a fun it's a good three-year it. birthday uh party idea i think yeah that'd be yeah. awesome all right so there is home news simon there is home news shall i go first uh, i mean I'm, I'm no honest. i tell you what solid trip you go first. Yeah, Simon's talking. Break it up a bit. I guess, but you know, we 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 normally take over after a while, so it's good to let Simon have his little talky bit um, <laughs> early on. So, um, well, what is my home news, guys? I mean, Kate's been away. My wife's been away on tour, so I've been on my own. The flat is surprisingly tidy, I must say. I'm, I'm impressed with myself. I love uh, it because they'll be at your standard. It's still oh, probably not this good enough. I, I said it's tidy, but it's it's my tidy, which I know is not her tidy, mm-hmm. and that's fine. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's just the way it be. But mm-hmm. apart from that, work's been busy. Uh, lots of stuff going on. Still waiting on lots of stuff from work to find out this about various one, things. Yeah. How's that going? Uh, been uh well i i, I, I haven't heard I, I did apply for a job 
still haven't heard. Uh, not mm. calling anybody out on the podcast because they do now know that I did put on my CV <laughs> that I uh, I have a podcast and I got a second interview, guys. So it's not it's it's it wasn't immediate in the bin. Yeah. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I said that I did casting on my CV as well, so I was like, would that be would that be something an employer would want? Who knows? It's public speaking, right? So it is public speaking. You can't really it. They're going to look at. They're going to listen to back into our casting and go. Mm, I'm not sure if he was a play by player or a color caster. Well, I mean, they're, they're going to be like, well, he's not found his seat. So, he's not uh, found his seat. You're, you're, you, you've been fired. <laughs> We're looking for color casters yeah, here. I'm really sorry. As, uh, <laughs> color caster, Salesforce admin, or a uh, play by play Salesforce admin, and I just feel like. <laughs> That's the weirdest question anyone's ever asked me in a job interview. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's just, it, apart from that, it's been pretty normal times. Just been uh, messing about, having, having fun, going out for drinks, this and that. Classic trip trip times, I it's would say. Trip. Yeah. yeah. Looking forward to Kate coming back. Then we're going away to the New Forest next week. So oh, looking forward to that. Lovely. I have a great home news next episode. Oh, that's good. Uh, How about you, Hamish? Oh, me. Um, so my daughter was four on Friday. Hey, Happy birthday. Happy birthday, birthday, Freya. I know. She loved it. It was great. And then the next day, uh, Faye goes off to a Hindu. Mm. And then she was just telling us about this. She, she has was, some friends. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like a barrel of laughs with a bango bango, whatever it was called. Bingo bang. Bongo bingo. Bongo's bingo. I, I, even I can say, actually, I, I will no longer judge. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's like a... I was ready to jump in there and be like, can't believe you can't say bingo, blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> so um, it's on Saturday. We met up with you, Simon, didn't I? Um, yeah, I, we did. I rang you up on Saturday and went, um, I've got to kill time. <laughs> Wife's gonna wait. I'm really desperate. I need, I need some fab dad help. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's over to Simon's, and uh, I don't know if that's relevant to your home news as well. I was going to talk about it. Yeah. But you... you go. You go ahead. I've got other things to talk about. So um, you know when I said when you when you brought up saying Nikki went away, and I said something a little bit, you know, critical, saying isn't it easier when they're away because uh, you got uh, yeah, and oh, yeah. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. It's. Uh, I'll take it back a little bit. I'll take it back a little bit. Right. It, it's um, it's a full on. It is full on, especially the Sunday, considering mm. I actually did something. Uh, this is something. I did something very petty. Right. Very, no. very petty. So Freya was is a very uh, kind of commanding little girl. Right. So she will, uh, if we're playing a game, it's her game. Put on a commanding performance. Yeah. <laughs> so she will definitely just go, uh, there's not your way at all it is my game so we're playing mario wonders right on the switch oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. Nice. we're doing it on two player daddy no not going this way no 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 and i was like the lead camera so i got a bit bored so i just ran off and as she was dying she could just run into me to carry on i was getting a little bit fed up and bored after about 20 minutes of her crap and then there was this purple coin where you're going to collect three coins throughout the level and i was just about to get it but she was the camera mover so she nudged me off and I went, no, 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 Freya, go back. Please go back. Please go back. And she went, no, carried on, ended the level. I got very, very petty. I was just like, it's now three o'clock. It's, you know, a bit of an all day sesh with the kids. And I just went, I'm done. I'm done. And she went, no, and I, no, you know, I didn't turn it off. I went to settings and set it to one player and put the controller down. <laughs> and she immediately looked at me, screamed tears, and I was like, "Oh, I am I'm a thirty oh my goodness. thirty four year old man. <laughs> She's four but, years old. She's four it. years old. Oh, I know. I got, I, but I just, I said, I said, we just need a little. Let's have a little break. Let's have a timeout. Let's have a timeout. Let's have a break. You go watch the. I'll put. We don't. Uh, Faye hates it when she gets the kids YouTube on. I don't mind it because I get a fucking break. So, mm. and it's and she's not in. So electronic. It, uh, is no, in not not session. no tablet, TV. I'm mindful of her eyes. So uh, I said, Let, yeah. you, do you want some YouTube and have a snack? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And I'm like, I'm gonna have thirty minutes to myself for one second because I got I can't believe how petty I got with Mario Wonders, and I just went, I'm turning it off, <laughs> and we were crying. So yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm a petty man. 
What about you, Simon? It's easier on your own, though, right? So there you go. It is. Yeah. It is because I didn't have to worry. I, it was a bit because the second Faye come back, she's just. You didn't like, have to worry about the judgment from Faye. No, about I don't. Uh, when Faye, the second Faye's YouTube coming time. back, she's like, "Oh, listen to me now. Oh, listen to my thing. And oh, have you done the washing? Oh, and, oh the house is a mess. It's like, it's, oh god, it's not. It's just totally like, fine. oh, you didn't get all the uh, purple coins on this level yeah. of. Mario Wonder. Go back what and finish it No, she said 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 I'm like, I'm said she 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 said what a beautiful... I know. Honestly, so, sometimes Faye's sitting there going, can you just listen to me while I'm cooking? And Faye's like, Daddy, can you sit with me? And I'm like, I, I to just... To be fair, want... I don't think Simon knows, doesn't Mario he? Odyssey with me. So if so, I had someone who wanted to play Mario Odyssey, I'd be on board. She would. Yeah. She would. But Simon slightly get, knows what I'm on about. I get, I get, oh, he definitely does. Yeah. You can see it in his eyes. I know, that little, yeah. Everyone yeah. wants to my, talk to me. <laughs> my Well, I get the opposite because... Nikki is the go-to like no matter how hard I try and be there to talk to the kids are like oh mummy 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 mm. mummy everything so yeah oh um, my, mine's um, daddy daddy daddy, the other one. daddy you don't know what you you have until it's not there you know yeah well that's, that's, cause you're, deep, that's because but... you're the quiet one of the two maybe yeah, yeah. but also because I'm at work more and anyway so my home news is uh, it was my 11th wedding anniversary oh, bloody hell you've been married for a long time uh, we've been married a long time we've been we've been together 21 years now what Jeez. which is a long time They're but we um, how old we are you? went he's, he's 36 like... oh 37. my god oh 37 37 16 um, yeah 16 Oof, 16 years young at the time um so we went to leeds not for flesh and blood related uh, events, but we went for our 11th wedding anniversary. We went to a very nice restaurant called Psycho Sandbar. If anyone in the UK follows that great British menu with Michael O'Hare, it's his new restaurant. Cool. That sounds um, very interesting. I really, I'm a big fan of Leeds. I think it's a really it, nice yeah, city. Yeah, Leeds is a great mm. city. And we went out to dinner and we went out on the town and uh, we felt like normal people again. Because the kids were looked after by the grandparents, and Ooh, we were yeah. smashed on the beers. Yeah, well, we we had a flight of wines first, and then we had some drinks. So you know, smashed went big, and then we had some real drinks yeah. after our yeah. flight of wine. Yeah, uh, uh, that sounds when great. Dude. First course, that sounds great. When the first course was uh, oysters and champagne, you know you're onto a winner, right? Mm. And you looked pretty. You looked pretty cool as well with your red braces and red dicky bow. See, hey. I, Hamish, I don't think you really appreciated that what the look you I was like, going for. You, you were like, you were, that. look at me. Your you know face what? was like, yeah. Mm. Mm. Hello, but uh, uh, yeah, I it wasn't look at me. It was look at us enjoying our eleventh wedding anniversary, and you were like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> what didn't you like about it, Hamish? No, I didn't say I didn't like it. But what didn't you like about it? Okay, well, I didn't say I didn't like it. <laughs> I know you didn't say it, but what, what was it that you didn't like? Though? Well, I'll tell you what I didn't like about it, right? Yeah, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> no, it was, no, no, it's fine. Looked, no, you looked, you did, you did look really cool. I thought red, anyway. So let's, let's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, right. <laughs> that's what he didn't like. Yep, red. There we go. We got it. Oh, actually. Too much color for Hamish. No, it wasn't. No, it was, uh, anyway, come on, ladybug boy. What are we, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about today? What are we talking about? What are, what are we, we talking, talking about? about today? Okay, so now, oh Simon, you're leading the way. You're the host. Go for it. I don't want to interrupt well, the host. I want. He's I the want first first host of the guests. Yes. Yes. The first host of the guests. The first guest host. <laughs> yes. And I'm the we don't even know who the, the we don't even know who the host is. That's Who's the best. The host, bit. You're the you're the host. Come Am on. I the host? Let's let's, let's 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 not let's not be precious. Not not beat around the bush. We're just let's here not, to let's make not up beat numbers. Any bushes. We're just, you know, we're we're just here to make up. <laughs> you can beat up hey, let's... What are you saying? Are you saying we're just here to give Hamish someone to talk to? It's been three years and we clocked on. We've only just clocked on ourselves. It's been three years and we've just realised we're just, just someone for Hamish like to talk to. Experiment yeah. to <laughs> give Hamish a little run around every every fortnight. Just let him. 
<laughs> Bay said to him, "Go and find some friends to talk to, so I don't have to worry about you for a bit." And he's Bay pays us. She, she, we're she's oh. we're salaried. She, she just says a couple of hundred a, a fortnight to keep Hamish busy. Oh. We're like, yeah, sure. We'll learn flesh and blood. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. So if you wanted to know how we started this podcast, that's how it was. It's the we Truman Show for Hamish. Actors, Hamish show. Paid actors to support this <laughs> lovely up. lad. That's the funniest thing I've heard in ages. I've only just got you. We're only here for someone for you to talk to. <laughs> Yeah, we just thought you looked a, bit, like, a little bit yeah. sad and lonely. We thought, well, we'll just help you out. You know, <laughs> three years later, we're, you know, wow. going great. Is that what the casting gig's yeah. about as well? It's For like, oh, Amy's want, Amy's wants to do some <laughs> casting. <He's>... <laughs> the best part <laughs> is the people noise? pay us. The best part is people pay us to... Uh... <sighs> Oh, it's just <laughs> that's our money laundering gig. That's how we get the money through. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh That's my the official god. channel. Oh my god! Right. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to talk about a, a few of the spoilers that have come out from. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. What would and you like to talk about, those... Hamish? Well, there was two. There's two. So we got. <laughs> <laughs> we got Phuket. Phuket happened. Oh, oh Phuket did happen. <laughs> Phuket <laughs> happened. Pro quests are coming up. <laughs> There's um and oh. there's <laughs> we're part part of the miss fail. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> oh wow, that's fascinating. Oh wow. Okay. Now listen to me. <laughs> the veil the, the veil has gone now. Yeah, the veil has gone. The miss veil has been. Parted. Do you think we can carry on now knowing that? Yeah, we can. Now, we can do it. Now, now that yeah. we know that you're only here. Now we to know. Listen, now we know. <laughs> for me to talk to. Okay, Simon. Oh. Uh, where do you want to start? I want to start with the marvels that are coming out of this set because I am a big fan. Okay, has there? This is so, this is different. It is different. Trip, what's your thoughts? Ah, oh, okay. I'm gonna get them up, right? I'm gonna get a February. Are, they gonna, are you gonna get them up, or are they gonna get you up? They're not gonna. Oh, they're not gonna shuffle. <laughs> they're not gonna get me up. <laughs> Oh. Um, they're mostly sort of just traditional trips to find oh, that. I love Fabry. it, which isn't, which isn't quite my uh, while, while trips to find vibe. that on Fabry. Hamish, like, I what do you it. think about the hey, that long. direction? <laughs> with it's the a second. You know. just, just <laughs> trip, stop God, interrupting. Just... No, but trip, this is oh, all about oh. Hamish. Um, sorry, I know the guest doesn't normally get to <laughs> um, speak <laughs> <laughs> on the Hamish. <laughs> Okay. Show. okay. No, um, tri so Trip, you found them. Right, them. It's, that's like right. Tied it up. Boom. Right, we're back in. Okay, yeah. and they look good. They genuinely look good. They and do I think genuinely look. I good. like the art direction. It's very different art direction for, uh, um, flush and blood. I have to say, yeah. yeah, they do definitely. They're definitely taking it in a different direction. But the full art does look really really good mm -hmm. um i think just the the artist you have a favorite really very talented i like stir the pot <laughs> me too it looks like a studio ghibli film mm. i also quite like passover um, okay yeah uh, but I, I i think me and hamish are both big fans of the sacred art jade tiger that does however it's just something about that, that art. It's very dynamic. There's like lots going on. I I'm not so keen on yeah yeah yeah. Hey, Mish, you go ahead. No no sorry. I was just gonna say that I, I I'm really struggling with all the name concepts of the mm. because there's actually just sing, mm. singular card names that all basically do a very small job. Like I do something very small. Shuffle. Okay. What is shuffle card called? Stir the pot. Right. Mm. I, I am struggling with the names on it, but there is some that are on there that are like these are going to be bonkers in cold foil. Like there's there's yeah. there's one that looks like it's half and half where it's like really a gold. Pass over. That's it. If that's what it's called. But it's all goldeny one side and like dark, like a royal blue yeah. on the other. It's like fishes. It's, on it's one more side of a teal. And... Yeah. yeah, that's it. So that in you know, a cold. Oh, sorry. I oh, know Simon's been playing that game where he guesses colors. So you know, Q's and Q's. Yeah, the old B and Q here, right? So it's that card you can just see in a cold foil is going to be like pure stunning. Insane. But I have to say, yeah. I have to agree with you guys. Stir the pot is uh, 
is it does look good it's because it's just so different isn't it and there's loads of wild crap going on although i will say uh what like what is that in flesh and blood and i think maybe that tome what well, not that tome what's it called the tenants or whatever that book is called that they've spoiled there's a book Oh yeah, 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 yeah! It is. Trips looking uh, at me. Yeah. Orion, Orion of Mystic Tenants. That's it. I think all of these draw are... two cards. If a chi was pitched to play oh. this, instead oh, of oh, that that cards. looks like a flesh and blood card. Yeah, yeah, yeah that does, looks like yeah. a flesh and blood card. And I think all of these are the artworks that are probably in that book, right? Because that book is meant in in the. Oh, oh that's a really yeah. interesting. There you go. Because all those. I like that. Yeah, because yeah. all the uh, that that book says that the ink work and everything on it is meant to depict like the history and uh, what actually makes mis- the the Mysteria like work in a way. And as the pages fade, mm. the mist starts to drop, and that's what I think all of these cards, like Japanese inspired artwork, is actually meant to be in that um, in that book. Interesting. Well, I, Interesting I just think, idea. It's, that's I think it's a great return to form of the full art two-sided cards that we yeah. saw in um, it, with the dragons. And I think I think LSS yeah. cottoned on to the dragons. They're very popular and they look great. And I think these cards look great. And I think it's going to be... And I, 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 I'm not... We can have a separate conversation about this in a second. I think it works well for legendary one-offs because you only need mm-hmm. to have one copy. However, I also think that one ofs are an interesting game design, mm-hmm. uh, and they seem to have really doubled down on that because I think when one ofs were printed a long time ago in Monarch, mm-hmm. uh, I think it was Monarch was the first time, uh, there was a bit of a backlash about that, about people yeah. saying that this shouldn't be a game design tenant uh, well, for well a trip. Club. Well, trip. I just want to say that Heart of Finder was probably the first one of. That's true. Yeah, I guess that's true. I've never even thought about the fact that fables are one-offs. Mm. Uh, one-offs. That's never really crossed my mind. Good. But, it says legendary. Um, Gorganian Tome as well, also. Uh, I forgot about that. That's in Crucible of War. Yeah. So, but uh, as a concept, we're thinking things like Soul Reaping in Chain, for example. Incredibly yeah. powerful card that was a yeah. one-off. God, I'm really thinking on my feet here. But And it's like, if you draw your Soul Reaping you have a really good game. If you banish your soul reaping, you have a really bad game. Obviously a bit different with that, but I think it's interesting that we see the return of this and mm. LSS really hard committing to this concept and just saying, yeah. no, this is a big part of flesh and blood and that's going to be the way it is. We saw it with the legendary dragons and yeah, I think, what do you guys feel about that as a game I, concept? I, I think with, with a non-rotational card pool, they have to be really careful what they release into the wild. And I think it's a reasonable deck building restriction to keep in place mm. it's um <clears throat> i don't i don't mind it too much i find it actually kind of in a way feels a little bit janky as a talent you know in a bit I, I guess realistically you're not putting these in for the ability right you're putting these in because you need the chi so oh, the, yeah. the thing you need that, the chi you need the chi right that need is that is the mystic way so the thing that the, the thing that you're doing though is where you might be a little bit like do I want to shuffle like stir the pot do I want to shuffle maybe mm. I don't know because I'm I'm actually because I might be finding these powerful cards like in my second in my first cycle I'm just yeah. messing up my first cycle or hey I just drew the my attack as a go again card but man I don't really have a hand to throw this I really need that yeah. yeah so there's just a couple of like moments where I'm thinking these might be a wee bit jank but that's just my mm. first sort of take but really they all are the G card right so but it, again think, you've yeah. got to you've got to weigh up the limited experience versus the open world like we haven't seen mystic as a talent before so well, how's it going to affect what? the heroes when they get released into the wild but also within its set itself in a limited capacity well that's another thing that you brought up as well that the 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 wording on legendary is constructed only so you can have multiple copies in your seat in your limited um, Paul, which is confirmed by James White on Twitter, which is the 
uh, best way of confirming we, rules. We <laughs> but uh, he has that was all reading. Yeah, well, he didn't. Yeah, so the older stuff. I, uh, it's, it's a question people have been asking. What about the older stuff? Does that mean that it's only a one copy of in uh, in constructed? So these formats? were legendary. These were legendary uh, hero specializations. So yeah, it's a it's a bit of a weird one. Different. But I think it's yeah. for this set specifically. They just said this. Yeah, yeah. This is only what it's only a one off and constructed because I think if you only had that in a limited pool, it would be like oh, well, you got another one, and you go, well, I won't pick it, so I don't have a pick. That's just terrible. That's not yeah. a, that's that that it probably will open up to being really awkward. So they just went. Uh, it's just constructed. Don't worry. You can have two copies of Stir the Pot mm. if you want. What do you guys feel about how much Miss Vale is leaning into kind of like a no block type thing where we've got Hard, a right? lot of instants and a lot of cards where you're essentially, you could brick quite badly yeah. and that could be game losing for you. We've seen it. We see it occasionally in things like Brute, where they might just have a no block in hand, but there's a lot of cards here. If you're going to want to play this transcending deck at the moment, based on the cards that are revealed, it looks like you're going to have to throw in quite a few non blocks, quite a few instants into your into your deck, and it feels a bit like brute. Interesting. Yeah, but and but in the past we've had you know again pe people people do love to block. People don't like not being able to block. So yeah, and but we've only seen a select a small snippet. Mm. of the card pool and we don't know the pack distribution either so it might be that actually these are all of the instants have been released and we've seen the majority of them and actually some of them are relevant to the deck you might want to be drafting and some of them aren't so yeah i think that i'm not too it's it's like just seeing the draconic cards and then mm. trying to summarize how does the draconic cards speak to a yeah. ninja and, and 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 that's the first things we've seen and, and then when you actually open up the rest of the stuff you do sort of go oh right yeah that, oh, that's, that. that's we that's, also that's, haven't that's, seen any equipment no we've seen nothing. no that's true I, I there might be a lot of blocking equipment i genuinely just think that they've actually turned around and just shown off they, they they've shown off the cards that kind of translate chi really well which is just the first part of the hmm. you know of the of the spoiler thing it, it at, at the minute though yeah you do the to answer your question trip we you are going to put a couple of non-blocks into your deck and these heroes are going to have some non-blocks in their deck but hmm. the power that they're at, but the power of their hero ability is actually really really strong right so that's the trade-off hmm. Do we want to talk about the heroes? Because I don't think we've actually talk, spoken about the heroes briefly, yet. But not, we kind not of um, held off yeah. on it because we wanted to understand how Chi worked uh, yeah. before we dived into you talking about the heroes. But I, I guess we could talk about them quite generally because there's still so much information we don't know about um, uh, mm. part of the Miss Vale. But like, is there a particular hero that either of you are drawn to already in terms of like you think maybe I would want to play that? Uh, Simon. I mean, uh, I went through a bit of a Katsu Crouching Tiger phase. I'd like to see a proper Crouching Tiger Ninja package, as it were. Mm. Um, so I think, yeah, Zen Zen does speak to me initially. I've got Ninja cards. That helps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, weirdly, I've, in terms of my collection-wise, that none of the heroes actually <clears throat> uh, fit into making this cheap, <laughs> which is... Definitely for you, Simon. But Enigma is definitely something that is piquing my interest purely because actually this is a hero that I feel is going to, in a puzzle, in deck building and playing, uh, is yeah. going to be doing something very different from what Bolton and Reiner and Viscera have been doing. Yeah. So that hero does speak to me, although Nu is also another one that's like, mm. not. I think the. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we know what you meant. Uh... And we know it, we know it's exactly <laughs> no, what you meant. That's um, the problem. I, Hamish, I, Hamish, <laughs> Hamish, we know what you meant. Um, but I think that new is the uh, new is the uh, the one I think we know the least about because yeah. I, I I think at the moment face up without a way to do anything particularly crazy with stealth, and I know that has the effect of like banishing defensive cards off stealth. Like with Azuri, we have a very obvious 
swap mechanic and with uh mm. arachne we had the go again well the, the young arachne the, obviously the old arachne did crazy crazy stuff but we'd had the like go again uh, mechanic of stealth yeah and it's hard i think we we see the payoff with new but we don't see what the i think you've spoken about this before hamish is like what is the tur- what is the normal turn like mm. what is your normal turn with new like we we can see the huge pop off i'm going to play every blue card uh from your banish zone kind of kind yeah, of but you're not going to have cheat every turn are you you're not but gonna what have... are you doing you're just throwing a stealth card at them for three mm. every turn like threatening a, a pox a blood drop pox or threatening a disease like what is the I, what is the turn i, I think mean, it's got to be the weapon right yeah i think the we- i think the weapon is going to be a definite thing mm. but at the same time like um assassin is one of those sort of heroes or classes that are not really string along big attacks it's basically incoming awkwardness and yeah you know, i think that's fair it, 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 here's a stealth card and uh if you don't block it it's bad if you do block it it's bad like that's usually what they tend to do right you just don't ever feel like you've got a good trade every time they just throw yeah like oh like you're saying a jury here's my stealth mm. and you just go it's not you can't block two cards every time no can you can't right? and then when it's arachne it's it's a bit different but the contracts just he you just feel like if you just threw this out you are going to cause a problem plus new yeah. has access to codex of royalty as well mm. the the big card that is really pushing assassins to be super awkward right and she also does yeah. have access to um leaving her witnesses all these really good cards especially surgical extraction crikey a blue yeah. attack card that a targets yeah, yeah, yeah. blue cards banish the top of your deck and a card from hand if it's blue make all this you just know this card's going to be crazy but they're not going to be doing wide turns i just think yeah. that she's actually pro- we're probably overthinking what she's doing because the class is going to do what it will always do so it's just going to do it in a different way but it is yeah the codex of frailty leave no witnesses is such a classic yeah. tool that assassins will always have well presumably will always have to fall back on and and like you said the uh surgical extraction is a bonkers kind of card if you've yeah. got the resources which they're gonna have because of all the blue cards they have to pay for the the two cost of that and then you know shred 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 so like shred, you know, they, assassin shred. does have some incredibly strong cards that you can throw in and even yeah. with a crazy strategy it's going to be really interesting to see and i think i i just wanted to say that i thought it's really i really like that they're taking assassin into this play from the banner play from your opponent's banish zone direction because mm. of all of this banishing you're doing it's cool to see that <laughs> yeah, become an payoff, and you just know yeah. they're going to bring back Shadow Runeblade at some, like a chain, like here at some point, and it's just going to be the worst matchup ever for this because they're just gonna be like, yeah, banish everything. <laughs> it's going to be great. I'm just going to play it all out for the banish. So it's just like, obviously not the moment, but like it just seems like well, such Vincet's a natural there. Vincet thing. Vincet can play from banish. Yeah, you know, like yeah, uh, it's, it's yeah, interesting. Vincet, but imagine, not Vincet. imagine you just went, okay, I'm going to block this card with your stealth card cool i banish the card cool bro you basically put it back in my hands <laughs> yeah, I know. it's like i blocked and i've got a value out of it yeah so, it's thank you. the value uh, of that really really wild. cool uh like wait and i and like vincent's positioning herself as a really interesting hero that plays into you know uh ward really well and mm. uh being able to play these cards in the banish zone like you know it's it might get there eventually there's potential um, there's a puzzle i I, I think news the one I appeals to me the like the least uh, uh, despite everything we've said just because I feel like we need to know more I think Zen yeah. I, I I don't want to say Zen feels pretty face up but I think he is he's he a ninja pretty, pretty much it's <laughs> his hero ability but better but harder to pull off but harder to um, pull off yeah uh, so in deck sure, construction sure that should be great in deck construction. Yeah. Ninja is the most face up obvious little thing there is because it is literally just well you just put in these attack cards it's not like rocket science in a way but the, right. it's, it's interesting that Brian Brian Gottley you also pointed out that Zen is a more in their way maybe it's just the uh the starter decks complexity not the CC mm. deck complexity part but 
which I do think everyone's riding on that a little bit too hard. Like, just because new is an easier blitz deck to pilot for the starter mm. set doesn't mean that she's going to be the easiest CC deck to pilot. I generally just think well, Zen's going to be the easiest one, right? He's got to be. What's what's probably hard is how you sequence your combo attacks, but let's face it, just put the combo attacks in. Whereas Enigmas is like, geez, oh man, like what, what are we doing here? Do you know what I mean? Like, are we putting Spectras in? Uh, there's, there's her hero text is, it's kind of easy to read, but also really vague to construct. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas new. Uh, yeah, I, I find when you're saying who's who's the least interesting, like Zen's the most least interesting because it mm. literally just says most well, least it's, interesting. Well, it, yeah, well, it just says Tiger combo. It's the Tiger combo hero. I think when I yeah, I think when I what I I uh, think what I'm trying to say is like news the one where I like I want to know more ah. before I make a call about I want to play it. Yeah, uh, Zen is the yeah, one yeah. where I'm like I think I'm pretty pretty. I think I can work out Zen. Yeah, and I actually, we actually had a conversation before the podcast where we were saying Enigma. I think Enigma is 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 not such an Enigma. It, it no, it is. It but is. But there's a, there's an easy way of playing it, right? Like you look at it and you're like, okay, I can build that, and I can throw in all the good. I can throw in all the good illusionist things. I think I'm gonna have a pretty good deck. And then there's the like, like big brain like deck, mind palace, big brain, yeah. insane Enigma deck, which just goes crazy but like when you look at it if you just look at that first hero ability that's kind of spice like just your spectral shield attack costs one less great that's really good and like and the rest is pretty cool like being able to create a spectral shield with uh with the g feels pretty like plays into what you want to be doing as illusionist anyway i think the the transcend mechanic seems to fit illusionist a bit better you know yeah. being able to play a blue aura and then instant out a transcend card that feels pretty great and then you've got three resources to then create some spectral shields and like that feels very like illusionist while i think mm. in the ninja deck getting the space to transcend is not what you doesn't fit into a straight up aggressive deck like you know when you're playing katsu you're going hard every you want to go hard every turn you really mm. don't want to be taking a turn off but is it kind of has to is it like in, you know when you tr- you know when you draw ancestral empowerment and you kind of go this is good but what like when because sometimes i imagine when you well, I've watched you guys play katsu is that sometimes you actually will go would you rather have like four pretty decent attacks that just string together quite nicely. But then when you get an Art of War and an and Ancestral Empowerment in your hand and only two attacks, it's like... Uh, do you know what well, I mean? That's why a lot, then, a lot of players cut the Art of Wars because of that reason. And and the Ancestrals are good, but they are risky. Point. And the Ancestrals work so <laughs> well because of Katsu, because Katsu, every attack needs to go over the hit. top. But, yeah. uh, but that's but my in, point, in Zen, isn't it? for example... Uh, that might not be as relevant because you you don't is, I mean, need to hit. You just need to have cheap. Katsu is probably at his best when he plays as a mid range setup deck. Like Katsu will have off turns, and you need to craft a hand. And the, there's the... a different there's a difference between an off turn, which is, and there's a difference between a setup turn. And I think yeah, Katsu yeah, 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 can yeah. have okay. an off turn. That's you look at Katsu's off turns and you think, bloody hell, I wish I could do that every turn. Yeah. And then you and then you look at uh, and then you look at his his good turns. You look at and you think that hero is broken. Um, but I think with Zen, you're off. It's not really it, your setup turn to create mm. chi. It's can you do that and still be impactful? I, I think yeah, that's yeah. that's all about the okay. chi mechanic. Is can I transcend and not just lose the game? Uh, and if the hero can do if the heroes can do that, and we don't know anything else about the heroes, about the cards that we've seen. 8th of April 2024. If if the heroes can do that, then they're going to be great heroes. But if, if they can't transcend, then I mean, Zen has no. If if Zen can't find the space to transcend, has no hero ability. At least the other two have something. Yeah, like no, Zen it, has I mean, nothing. You look yeah. at New, and it's actually like really easy. You could just block up and then just go. Okay, I'm mm. going to instant this, uh, or I, I'm going to. You could pop just double instant or whatever. I'll just play this blue. I could even just play a blue, like someone you shout mm. out blue sigil. 
I was like, geez, yeah. okay, cool. Game one life. Uh, I'm going to play this yeah. other instant and I will transcend, get this back into my hand and I will then pitch it to new. Uh, top card of your deck, cool. I'll just throw that in the banish zone and then I'll just play this at- card out of your deck back at you. It could be a pile of crap, but I literally gained one health. Yeah. And got the three resources is, well... and threw your own t- attack back at you for nothing. And I blocked. I, That's a lot I of value <laughs> somewhere. I, I, I think the other thing is that Enigma, you can do that on your opponent's turn. And you've, and well, you've they... not really lost anything. You did it at the end of the chain. You, with, with, uh, with New, you probably don't want to do it on your opponent's turn. But you could. And you might be able to do something crazy. Yeah. If you Zen, it has to. It, it, it doesn't has have to. to be. It doesn't have to be, but it has to be because you banish the card and you have to play it this turn. I so think if you do maybe it on your you... turn. Yeah, I think you yeah. pointed out that actually the real key point that New and Zen are my turn transcend, mm-hmm. and the power of um, Enigma is either e- either right mm-hmm. either turn is cool because I either going to block one out of this if at the clutch moment. Or even on yeah, my yeah. turn, I could just double. I could just double pump this. I can go. Okay, cool. I transcend on your turn, and my turn, I, I've got a chi. I, I, I can just do this again. I've, like it, it doesn't matter either way, and that's probably the complexities of Enigma. Whereas the other two, just say you really, yeah, like you said, you really got to do it on our turn. But we can, yeah, we can do trickery on our turn that Enigma wouldn't be able, yeah. like do you know what i mean you like, mid combo instant get this in here do this and you're like oh god okay you, you know that's awkward to see coming mm. that but new yeah man i'm just thinking of that t- i'm just thinking, oh jesus I mean, jesus christ you just blots nine and threw my own attack back at me <laughs> it doesn't feel like we have long to wait now like no got, no we uh, should though spoiler season's probably right in the corner yeah. and I, i'm really interested to see how they take all of these heroes and yeah yeah i'm like... really interested to see if they do try and take zen in a more defensive direction because we always say well new can just block up and then do this crazy stuff like maybe zen can do that too maybe they're going to give ninjas some more defensive tools to differentiate zen from the other ninjas that we've seen in the past so it remains to be seen this could be all completely false when we get a few more well, reveals and suddenly we're, we're looking at a completely different kind of hero i was gonna They've say gotta just... have zen state support right uh... he's called zen that There's would... got to be Zen State token. Maybe. I, I, would, I, I, would, I would say, look, um, at, look at the Brian Gottley interview. Uh, mm. He does say, I mean... Spill the chi. He did spill the chi. Um, he gives a lot of good uh, insight over that. Tell Co- us a little I... bit about that interview, Hamish, because it's been quite popular on the channel. And like, is, was there anything a part, part of that interview that you wanted to like highlight? Um, and like, uh, like if, if people haven't already seen it, like what would you... How would you how would you sell it to them? Like, what, why why should they watch it? Um, oh God, a lot. It was kind. It was kind of. I'll, I'll sum, just in summary, there was a lot of subjects that were talked about in terms of distributing to the CC armory decks. The revelation that the all the the uh, all the CC decks will have free copies of a card. There's not going to be this glistening steel blade nonsense where there's only one copy of now. It's a full CC deck, which was really good. Gave some context about the about part of the misfail stuff that was really cool um yeah just just a nice good wild range of everything and the biggest thing i think everyone would miss is the question of which young hero would you bring back and he mentioned uh well i'd love to bring the emperor back but and i said mm. and i said yeah but he's you killed him off on the first he's instance dead. <laughs> and then he kept saying yeah he's dead <gasps> he's oh dead. everyone would miss it and i went you know he's basically anyway. So he's go. gotta be. He's uh. What Why if, would you what mention if, what some? What if? if? What if? What if? Why was it? There's a necromancer. Anyway, so there you go. That's uh, that was. That, there's loads of real cool stuff there. Well, it's one of our most watched videos on the channel, which is pretty impressive because it's only been up for about a week. So, so uh, think, if, yeah. if people people want to check it out, uh, please do. We've got lots of amazing content coming out at the moment, and a lot of amazing content coming out soon. So calling Phuket summary. Mm. Is it Brody Spoiler takes down Paul Colin Phuket and Dromai is still in the season. Azalea winning. Dromai's still going. Well, Two we, Azaleas over the weekend. I know. It was a bit of a what like and and in the AL the, the Prism ALS um discourse over 
the looping mm. the looping of the ALS. So now uh, we've moved on from scab skins, which is funny because scab skins literally oh, directly. That was, that was the most hilarious moment. It, like just how it was just sudden. It, it genuinely it felt like some every, somebody woke up and decided to be like, yeah. no, scab it was sucks. it was like yeah, like, scab skins got to it, go. it was like watching a like like watching some kind of social experiment type thing. Which, it just went everywhere. Yeah, and it was. I'm, like, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for Art of War next. Oh, Art of War comes around like now and then, and it's just like we came with with, with Chain, and then it came around with Fi, and it's just one of those cards that pe- people seem to think is completely broken, and then and then the hero that plays it goes away, and then it's like oh, it's not that bad yeah. actually. <laughs> it's just and like and even even Katsu is like cut, cutting it because it's just and it's it's, just, it's a win more card. Yeah, it's just a well. It's just a well. We're not here. We're not here to talk about war. Anyway, ALS I, com- I, combo. Uh, look, it's are in weird. Play. No, no. but I don't think it's a problem. Like, it doesn't seem to be a problem. No. I don't see Prism winning the didn't, tournament. It didn't, so. that, it didn't <laughs> cause major upset at the calling Phuket. It's a cool. It's a cool thought experiment that we saw I don't, in real I, person in real life come to come to life. But I don't think it's. I'm gonna. Co- I'm gonna come into the middle here and say that uh, it is not as tame as you're making it out, Trip. But it's also no, not. Right. But it's not. Uh, right. But it's not as. Devastating. I can actually. The only thing I think yeah. a lot of people probably got a big problem is is that they generally just go. The one of the worst aspects of ice is feeling I can't play, mm. and that well, let's, and that, let's no, take no, it but, that, but that card literally turns around if they manage to do it, which is I will say, it's not hard, but it's like you know, it try try something. try and do it mid getting battered, and if you're determined <laughs> enough, you get yeah. you and you pull it off, you know it's good, and I think over time people will probably will refine that and get better at doing it, and it does answer that question of, man, you really did just lock this guy out of the game, and yeah. you, and if you're going to take this to an armory or an, or whatever, just playing that is that, is that fine uh, to go? You're not playing. I I win. think it's. It, it's i don't think it's a major what am i trying to say here i don't think it's going to be a huge problem but i could see lss banning it under the same os- auspice of they ban drone and it's just like they decide yeah. it's not a gameplay mechanic we want in fab uh and we we recognize it's not it's not tournament it's not winning tournaments but because of that reason you just said hamish it's not what we want for the gameplay of Fab, and we're going to get rid of it because of that reason. But I, but it's a shame bit... because ALS is a no, a good no, card. No, it's a terrible card. <laughs> it's a good card. No, it's, it's a bad card. It's, it's. I think it's one of those things where I don't think it's as bad. I don't think ALS is as bad. But then I think the maybe just the way it's turned out, it's become this bad game experience card but i i liked what als did to the game and i thought it was a really yeah. interesting card but i think that you did have to play around and that you did have to consider you did have to think about things like i liked the fact that you needed to think I, about i, I can't activate a non i can't use a non-attack or... before i attack or i can't give them a window to play an als mm. i like that but i think maybe it was just maybe you're right here maybe it it's not a good card. It's so close to being a perfect card. What Hamish is talking about, like the, you can extrapolate it out to all of the problems we've seen discussed on Twitter: the scab skins, Kano, ALS looping. Like it's all ice, ice heroes. It's all about lack of interactivity with the game state, mm-hmm. and it's the opponent. Like Kano's the first one that did it. You. If you're going to lose to Kano, you're going to lose to Kano. Like, there's there's like nothing, you, nothing can you can do, do about it. No, there's yeah. nothing you can do about it. If they get the combo off, you're done. With ice, if you just keep getting locked down, there's nothing you can do. Like potentially deck building, but then by the time you enter the the event, you're gone. With scab skins, you have as the opponent, you have no control over what they roll. If they get a six, you're away. If or they're away. If not, you're you're laughing. But it's when the opponent has no interaction and no agency in the game that people get annoyed. Mm. That's and... why people don't like Kano, yeah. It's, yeah, exactly. even with, with an Icelander, it was frustrating 
but I could still have, I could still most of the time do something. Unless they occasionally would just be completely with, locked out. But most I think of the that's the I case with the ALS looping that you talked about, Hamish, is try and do that when you're getting panned. Like, if you put enough pressure on Prism, they don't have a way out. They can't do that because they're just fighting for their life. Yeah, it's, it's might, like the classic where they're like, why aren't you attacking my orders? On turn two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, because I'm killing you. <laughs> yeah. It's no. like everything up until, it's like, a, it's like a dangerous tightrope where you're like, if I can kill you, I win. If I don't kill you, you've won. Yeah. It's, well, I, think, yeah. I think you actually summarized that quite well. And there are, like, Icelander in general, in it, 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 it's, it's generally all, like, all right. But one of the worst parts about even Lexi and Icelander was when they played Arctic Incarceration. And it yeah. did turn around and go, and Blizzard, yeah. you know, where they did yeah. turn around yeah. and Your go, is over. Yeah. done. And you're like, well, that sucked. It was guess there was nothing I can do because yeah. of your eight the agency of you just draw your four cards. My turn was pretty much determined by you playing yeah. your cards. I didn't even give you any agency for you to block anything I'm doing. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't yeah. even misplay. I can't. Yeah, play. you're not giving me a chance to do anything. Yeah, that's and that is where Kane and I think that's what you summarize fairly. Uh, well, you know, I, I, the scabskins ones I'm a little bit less thingy about because there is the scabskins goes, oh, I've got two actions. Cool, I still have agency to make choices on your yeah, attacks, exactly. right? So, but, like, but, you, but ALS I can't control anything it does. So, but the ALS and Kano conversation yeah. is the well. Like uh, Kano's a little bit different as well because he has to sort of go well. Um, time to see what the top deck has to ask yeah, me yeah. so that's like a well okay i, I still have agency a, a bit but I, we're kind of at the mercy of your local variants but when als does work that is like yeah there is like you're done you're 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 done there's nothing you can do and that is like imagine we just kept playing looping arctic incarceration yeah looping that background yeah. and round and round and round that's such a good um pick pick for card hamish because you're completely right because because mm. that was the one that was, that the, was one. the one that that was the one that always annoyed you like I, I part of me wishes that like frostbite was just like you could only ever have one, one. yeah if you only ever had one and, and and that would be really fun that would be really interesting because that 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 affects aggressive decks a lot, and it doesn't affect well, that's what big blue did, decks as much. They? And that was kind of interesting. But then they would mm. throw down Arctic, and then they might play an instant blue on your turn, and then you've got four frostbite, and then it's just like that's really frustrating because then I can't play the game, and then I'm probably going to lose. But like if it was just one frostbite, I think that's that's, and I I wonder if that's the direction it will go in is to reduce the number of these multi like remember the kind of like cousin Lexi had that would just give you like mm. hundreds of frostbite or like not hundreds but like tons of frostbite every time an arrow but hit and they're firing three arrows a turn it's yeah. it's always going to be this uh conflict between disruptive tactics which are blocking you from doing the thing you want to do and there's always going to be heroes like that in fab now kano i think is worse in a different way because it's kano different. is just like you just have to the worst thing about yeah. kano is just the waiting it's just yeah. sitting and just being like, so I just sit here. And, and in a tournament, I don't have a problem with that because it's a tournament. In an armory or at a casual event, it's just not fun. It's just like, I'm mm. here to play Flesh and Blood. I, I've paid however much it costs for this armory to play some games of Flesh and Blood. And I'm just, and, I'm, and all I'm doing is you're not interacting with me. You reach a point and then they do math for five minutes and just like this isn't a game of this doesn't feel like a game of flesh and i know if anyone wants to play a game of kano with me i'd literally go right have you finished your game cool do you just want to wait here a sec i'm going to nip to the loo and just grab a snack and yeah just tell me if i'm dead and i'll come back yeah and if i'm not i'll win gg like and it is a bit of a weird but like it's boring it's not it's 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 not interactive no it's not interactive there's nothing you can do and it maybe maybe there are odd occasions you do but yeah i think i've said this before i think i think kano was good for the game and i think it brought a lot of people into the game and there's a lot of people who love that style of play and i don't think that's a problem i don't think kano's ever reached the point of being too oppressive at the Mm. tournament level that it warrants banning or removing for the game Mm -hmm. but it 
I don't at that same time, I think it's very reasonable to say it's not a fun game experience. Yeah. And I don't think those two things are in conflict. And I think if you love Kano, just know Maybe. I don't think your hero should be banned. But don't come to me and tell me that that's a fun game experience, okay? Yeah, like no. I think that's probably you know, like yeah. let's just be oh, honest. Then then you you could just turn um, around and say your local gaming group can go, right, okay, we're just gonna put a limit of zero kanos for our play yeah. for our play group because it is but for but like i said yeah pro tours if i see kanos doing what they do at yeah, pro tours i really just don't care i'm yeah. fine with it because it, they've got Perfect so... place for a hero like that yeah exactly um you should be doing everything you can to win and if you think we that's should the way to win, i am going to, we should i'm going i know we're gonna wrap, i know we're gonna wrap up i'm gonna end this by say by saying uh i'd be totally fine if they banned als that card was busted from when they released and it came out in a busted set so it doesn't surprise me i think i wouldn't be annoyed because i don't play illusionist it's a light yeah. illusionist card so it's and very she won't restricted. be powered down really would she be that powered down without it isn't it a prison yeah. specialization it's yeah. not just it even is, a yeah. Light. yeah yeah it would she be um, would she actually be almost, rubbish if she if it wasn't there Guys, it's almost like they, they maybe shouldn't have printed Prism again and just given it any other name, and then maybe it would have been okay. That's um, actually very true. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like they designed this card oh, specifically no, no. so the card would only be no. around for a no, while. Her Herald of Ever Edition. Call it no, <laughs> no, but you wouldn't. Solve. But what about Herald of Ever Edition? That was a fun. We'll, we'll, get, over it. we'll get over we'll it. We'll get over oh, it. I'll, I'll get over that one. Okay. Um, are we ending on Pro Quest? Are we talking about Pro Quest? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, cool. no, no, we, no. we got to wrap it up. It's We're going to do hour. a. Okay, what, but ProQuest is this week. So ProQuest is this weekend. Yeah, yeah we're going to give a rundown next time we do a podcast. Hamish, tell us what can our patrons get oh, if they God. Oh, we did do the wheel. Jesus Christ, the oh wheel. My God, I oh, so. my God. Oh, my life. Oh, my God. Well, That's why I'm congratulations. Congratulations. Can you do the wheel? Wheel. Wheel. Do the well, wheel, hey. We do the wheel. Do the wheel. Oh, my God. We failed. And congratulations to uh, Kia, one of our patrons, Kia. Uh, you won. Sorry, you had to wait until 101. Well, two I minutes. get the impression that Kier's going to be a diehard fan who's listened right to the end. 60 anyway, seconds so. in it. So well done. We'll 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 message you on Discord as well. Um, Hamish, what can our patrons get for their money? Right. So, uh, patrons, you get 10% off off Fistle Tavern, a Scottish single seller from the UK who sells a variety of different trading card games, including Flesh and Blood and lots of other stuff as well. So if you're a patron, you get 10% off on your online orders. And you, Metal Fab Tokens is another one of our partners. If I distribute to the UK and EU, and when I get some goods in, which I've been talking to him, and I am going to get some cool new Assassin Tokens coming up mm -hmm. so uh if you are interested in getting this stuff um i let the patrons know before i let the general public know so they can get the orders in first before the general public does if that interests you and you also get six packs um randomly spinned not an hour uh, not an hour in. into our podcast normally <laughs> you get, you get to find a bit for of, random yeah. six packs now six packs yes ollie ollie one of our previous winners continued the theme of Push the point winners Elves. getting absolute fire in their packs. He got an L, uh, a rainbow for L, and a cold foil wasn't rare the from Bright Light. Helmet. Wasn't it the motorbike helmet? From he got the Evo X Ooh, yeah. and uh, yeah, the um, uh, and the, the and I, zip line, Evo zip line. I think. Ooh. And I think they got a uh, the new hotness right, which is the illusionist card. I oh, Tidemore. Yeah, sick rips, right? Yeah, the uh, the tide ball, which is do I want to pick those up? It's stonks. Stonks, um, stonks, stonks. Thank you uh, for everyone that stuck around to 63, 64 minutes now. For well, thank you to everyone who stuck around time. for three years yeah. of push the point. Whether you've yeah, been you know, yeah. from episode one or you've joined recently, we love doing it, guys. Uh, we really appreciate all the support you give us and. It doesn't feel like three years. It really honest, doesn't, you guys. It really, it really doesn't. doesn't. It's just something we do uh, every. We you know we record the podcast every fortnight. It's just become part of our lives, and we just love being able to talk about flesh and blood, talk about all sorts of stuff. And I hope you guys continue continue to enjoy it. Um, but yeah, it's been a good one. Love you. Sorry. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you guys, and speak to you later. Bye.